Hello everyone and welcome back to Spruceburg. Today we're going to be playing with the Karata household. We haven't played with these guys for a while so I'm excited to get back into them and see how the Katsuko and her two grandchildren are doing. It's Sunday morning and it's the first day of winter. The Karata kids, Haru and Riku, both look very excited to see some snow which yeah, we'll see if we can get that done today. Hopefully the weather complies. And Kat, meanwhile, has a want to fall in love. She's had this want for a while. And I have had in mind for her the Garden Club member, Matthew Smith. Uh, she's known him for a while. They have got along quite well. And she also has a want to be friends with him at the moment. I was thinking today they might have a quiet day at home. I think a quiet day at home would be nice because there's actually a lot of um, gardening that needs doing here. And... Maybe it would be cute to invite Matthew from the Garden Club over and try and get some help with, you know, the weeds are getting out of hand, there's leaves everywhere, it's just a bit of a mess. And this would be a good opportunity to potentially get to know Matthew a little bit better. And the kids, of course, can have their fun in the snow, if it snows. Fingers crossed, we need snow. So let's give them a call. Oh, and Rikuto has a want to talk to Morgan. I actually think it could be nice to have... Oh, it's snow. Yay. I thought he fulfilled a want just from eating a packet of crisps, and I did think that was a bit weird. Okay, that's lovely news. I think if we invite Morgan over as well, that could be cute. Kat is still asleep at the moment. But I'm sure she won't mind. Okay, so we're going to invite Morgan over. Oh well, never mind. Does Riku even have any friends yet? Not a single friend. Oh, that's so sad. What about Joy? He's nearly friends with her. And Joy is also Haru's friend. So I guess we can invite her over instead. I can't believe Riku said no. That's so sad. Maybe we'll since he doesn't want to talk to him, we'll, we'll have a quick chat with him and then we'll invite Joy over. Yeah, they're mostly just chatting about school. Oh, Haru, you actually managed to make a muffin without burning it, well done. Well done. Right. And yeah, it looks like the kids are pretty excited about the snow outside. Right, there is a wolf outside. And I think I remember saying ages ago that I sort of liked the idea of Haru becoming a bit of a wolf girl. Um... So we'll have her greet Widget while Riku invites over Joy. Or we could even have a little party of various little kids coming over. Because it is Sunday and it is snowing and maybe they would want to come over and play in the snow. Let's do that because I think it would be cute. So we've got Joy. Claudia and Morgan. I think that's all the kids we know at the moment. So yeah, let's have them all over. And we're going to talk to this wolf outside while Kat invites over to help accompany the kids. Her friend Matthew, where is he? He's not actually her friend yet, but nonetheless, we will invite him over. And he better not say no. Yes. Okay, he's coming over as well. <laughs> Alright, the kids are all here. And they can all enjoy the snow day together. And then Riku, don't just 
hang out on there. You've got all these friends over that you want to see. So we've got Claudia and Morgan and Joy all over. So hopefully we can make some progress with making friends with them. Well, Haru does have one person she wants to be friends with who isn't even here, but you know. Right, and if the snow settles a bit, they can actually do some little snow games, which would be nice. But right, let's... Oh, I want to be friends with him to roll away, but nonetheless, let's go have a chat. Alright, so fashion's been a bit of a running topic between these two. And Kat is someone who enjoys sports, so... Yeah, we're going alright here. But I think we're going to step it up and actually start hitting on him. Oh, the snow! Oh, nice. Is it possible to join the snow before? Yes, join. Okay. And then maybe we can get the other kids in as well and just do a big group. Ah, oh, this is so good. Okay, Harris had enough. What are you going in for? Or maybe to clear up all that rubbish you left on the floor? No? Let's clean that up. Who are we talking to on the phone? <gasps> the good witch phoned up. Cat's going. Mm, exciting. Alright, well, Haru is very dedicated to her baking hobby by the looks of things, you know. And I think that would help warm you up in a Cat, get off the phone. Where's Matthew? Oh, he's upstairs playing chess. Let's join let's join Matthew. As much as I like the idea of being friends with the witch. Yeah, I'd really like to have her and Matthew get to know each other better. And Kat is a little bit of a chess whiz. Why does she look so fed up? Maybe she's just focusing. All right, pretty successful party. Just a bunch of snowball fights. But yeah, look at them. Aww. Oh, well, we're out of time. But looks like everyone had fun. It does mean Matthew goes too. That's a shame. Oh, she's having one of her naps. One thing about Haru, she, yeah, I've mentioned this before, but she seems to get tired a lot quicker than most Sims. But yeah, I guess that's just what it's like for some people, you know. Low energy. She crashes hard. Alright, the one downside is, I did think while Matthew was here, maybe we'd get him to help with the gardening. This isn't really cheating, but I'm going to invite him back over because I want to have him help with the gardening. Um, where is he? Matthew. Oh, and they are friends now. That's good. Right, so we're going to invite him over. Can your friend come over? Sure, why not? Oh, it's Joy again. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's his granddaughter or something. So what I'm wanting to do is to influence him. We'll do a flirt first, just to kind of get things off to our good start. And then you see he is in the uh, garden club and you can buy seeds from him and whatnot. But Kat isn't super interested in gardening herself. What we do want is just to have him help out with her garden. Where's the influence button? Here we go. Oh, she doesn't have enough points. Never mind. This was a terrible idea. Okay, things between them are going pretty well. We'll just have another, do another quick flirt. Yeah, see, it's going all right between them. Hey, he got a crush on her. 
And why not? Let's say hello to this child too. Another friend for the kids, potentially. And then I want to do some gardening. Hmm. Okay, this isn't going too well. There's a lot of weeds that need sorting out. And she's not doing them one after another like I thought Sims tended to. Okay, but good to see Matthew's making friends with the kids as well. Talking to them about nature. Alright, since they've got school in the morning, I do want them to make sure their homework's done. You know, I've been a bit nervous about that in general. We'll have them get on with their homework. And then Kat maybe could make some dinner. They haven't really had anything to eat today, even. The day just went by so quickly. Do they not have a light in here? No, okay. <laughs> well, we'll sort that out later. Alright. And Haru might not be enjoying it, but she is getting on top of her homework. That's one done. And one more to go. And then when they're finished with that, they can go down and get some, some food. Maybe they should even take a break. I'm worried if they don't get it all done in one go, though, it just won't get done, so... Meanwhile, I'm not sure the chemistry is quite there between these two. I guess we'll see. Ah, Kat's carpool's actually coming in a minute, so something to keep in mind. Matthew, I'm rapidly going off you. There's no need to look at the kids like that when they're just hanging out. I guess he does just have a slightly severe facial expression though. I don't think it's necessarily... Oh, blimey, Riku, your face. Uh, he's like, it's getting pretty late, shouldn't you kids be in bed? Of course, they're talking about the snow. Well, well, Riku is in platinum aspiration. He's had a pretty successful day. I'm gonna block the friendship with Morgan because he's very close to being friends with her now. I can see he's wandered into her gamer cave and I'm wondering if this could even be, you know. Oh no, he's wearing a... Oh, he's a programmer too, are we? Well, that's fun. Well, that's nice. It seems like they might have a bit more in common than I thought, but... For now, Kat's got work to go to, and I love how her hacker outfit is this like, I guess it is kind of techy. The little tech tracksuit, very cool, very cool. Okay, and while she's off, the wo off at work, they do have a nanny. Oh, hello there. Oh, and they're even sleeping in their own beds. This is going so nicely. <laughs> oh, there they are, in the beds. The nanny. She's got the easiest job in the world. All she has to do is sit and watch telly. Matthew having a bath. A bit weird. But I guess he's making himself at home, which is nice. Oh, wait, what is going on between the nanny and him? Did he attack? Did she attack him? He started crying. Oh, well. Considering Matthew's over, I'm not sure the nanny's presence is even really needed. Perhaps I'd better install that mod that lets you ask people to look after the kids. Mm. Right, and I've got to remember when Kat gets home, not to spend the money right away because she will need it to pay the nanny. The kids do have school in the morning, so I'm glad they're getting a proper night's sleep. If they've got any homework left, we could get that done, hopefully before the bus comes tomorrow. All right, and Matthew blogging away. Him and Kat really are a better match than I thought. Well, I'm not sure about him being so friendly with the nanny. Matthew just straight up sitting here. I mean, I'm glad he feels so attached, but don't you have a home to get back to? Okay, yeah, he's off. Right, and now that it's morning, it does look like the nanny's come in to check on the kids, actually doing her job, which we love to see, and she's pleased to see Haru has indeed done all her homework. And what about Riku? He's just getting up, and he does have a little bit of homework still to do. He's excited to see it's snowing outside still, but yeah, time to do your homework, mister. And he does have a want to do it as well, so I'm glad he's studious. 
Oh, and the nanny passing in just to check up on him, make sure he's doing his homework and do a bit of tidying things up. Oh, and she's even sitting with him to make sure he's doing it properly. Talking to him about college plans. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we were too harsh on Katrina. Oh, he's finished in here. Riku, where did you go? Are you? Ah, yeah, there he goes. Doing a little bit of painting of the winter landscape, but it looks like it's time for school, so they're both off. And they're really doing a good job of staying on top of things. I'm proud of them. We'll let that homework one the hurry. Off they go. And Cat should be getting home in a minute too. Oh no, here we go again. No, we can pay you. We've just got to we've just got to take the money. We're about to have money. Don't stupid nanny. What did she even take? Oh, there we go. There's your money. Oh. What did she take? Well, I don't know what she took. I'm sure that will become apparent in no time. Turn that off. Oh, that's what she's doing anyway. Me and Kat have the same thought process, honestly. Let's feed, feed Fluffy. I guess we'll want to clean up in here. I don't know why that bloody nanny can't do this a tiny bit. Just any amount of cleaning would be fantastic. But so Kat wants to eat mac and cheese and she wants to eat turkey. I guess she's got a kind of winter. You know, in the winter, you always want to eat like hearty foods. So I think that makes sense. But... It does bother me how they always come in here to do the washing up. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. So she's just going to have a nap because, you know, she's on the night shift. And she knows the kids will be home soon enough. And so she doesn't want to go to bed, but she does want to just catch up on sleep a little bit. Speaking of which, here are the kids. Riku's brought another friend home. He's always bringing friends home. I'm quite quite impressed to see it. Maybe he'll actually make a few more soon. Oh, but he actually wants to talk to a relative, play with a relative. I guess it's winter, so Sims are more likely to roll once like that, I think. And how's Haru doing? Ah, brilliant. Come home, wake up. Haru wakes up Gran just screaming about these good grades, but Kat's pretty happy for her. Right, and it will be mac and cheese for dinner tonight, I think, since that's something they've got once. She's got a want to have mac and cheese. Riku doesn't, but enough people do. Oh, he wants to have a snowball fight, but the snow's gone. Oh, okay, well, whatever that was, didn't go well wants to play a relative and talk to a relative. Can we try joining Haru over here? Will that count? Oh, that isn't playing with a relative. Okay. Let's try a pillow fight between them. Haru. Stop that. Yeah, the two kids. Riku likes Haru a lot more than Haru likes him. But I'm hoping that can change. Especially since, I think in the winter in The Sims 2, family relationships like get a bit of a boost. Riku doesn't even have a toy. He just uses his imagination. He's a creative kid. Oh, he's off. Oh, well. Right. Well, they did all have wants to eat mac and cheese, which have been fulfilled, so that's something. Mostly they're talking about school. I've noticed Riku's been talking about maths equations all day, so maybe he's a little precocious. Or maybe cats finally got through to them, and they're in taking a bit more of an interest in coding. 
It is Kat's job after all, so yeah, I guess she's talking about work, some of the big big hacks she's been trying to do. Haru's wondering if maybe she might be a coder when she's older. Or maybe a doctor. I guess they're getting closer to teenagers, so they're thinking about maybe what they want to do when they get a bit older. Right, and since both kids have a want to have a snowball fight, and we've got a bit more snow again. You know, we are going to do that. She wants to be friends with Parker, who is, you know, she's triple bolting with him. So maybe she'll give him a call after this. Right. Okay, but since there's a bit more snow, they're both very excited to go out and enjoy it. But wrapping up warm first, which we love to see. Oh yeah, she was going to call Parker and just, just chat to him. Okay, it looks like Kat's ready for bed. Let's just pop that away so the kids have something to eat later. She's got work soon anyway, so she'll want to make sure. Make sure she's well rested. I feel like it's not facing the right way, but well done. Good job, kids. They're still like, wow, snowing. <laughs> Haru's getting a bit sick of the snow. Does she hate the cold? I can't remember. Oh, no, come on. I feel like it's time to get indoors. No, she doesn't. She's hydrophobic, though. Uh. Oh, Riku loves the cold, so he must be in his element right now. But yeah, come on kids, get in bed. Right, at the same time, Kat's got to get to work. Oh, has the nanny stopped coming <laughs> due to just being so pissed off? That's not a good sign. Um, let's try calling. Oh, but there's the ghost. Wait just a second. You want me to come over there even though you can pay me last time? I don't think so. Maybe I'll reconsider later. Oh. Well, that's not good. I guess Kat's going to have to miss work today. Hmm. We need to get a promotion so that we're not on this night shift all the time. It's not working well with the kids. Let's work on getting that mechanical skill point we need. And then I guess she'll have to just go back to bed. Maybe we can call in sick. Yeah, actually, let's try calling in sick. Oh, she can't. Okay, well, never mind. I guess we've missed the window for that. She's just going to be not there for no reason. Probably she will get in trouble, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, family emergency. Oh, what the hell was that? Mm, never mind. now can get back into bed and yeah we'll just have to hope for the best that they don't fire her <laughs> I think she can get away with it I wonder if we need to there's a thing isn't there you build vacation days faster let's have that and I think it would make sense for her to have grandma's comfort soup as well you know she is grandma and you know now that we're in the um cold season yeah I think that makes sense. And then I remember somebody commented a while ago that Katsuko had pleasure secondary vibes. And I have to say I agree. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give her a pleasure, pleasure secondary. Sometimes I roll for these, but sometimes a sim is just giving off a vibe. And that's, that's the case here, I think. All right, and then I think the needs ones are the most useful. I hope there's a cool down on the nanny situation because long term that is going to be a problem. Oh, 
oh, it's been snowing so much, the school will be closed today, catch up on that homework and enjoy the day off. You know, I actually can't remember the last time I had a snow day happen organically in the Sims. It feels like one of those things that should happen all the time, but doesn't. <laughs> um, okay, I guess it's just too snowy for the school to be running today. Cat, just use the toilet downstairs, for God's sake. Sort it out. Right, she wants to go on a date today. But with the kids home, it might not be that convenient. Unless we all went out. Oh. Alright, Kat did get in trouble at work for that one. But I think she got away with it. And I'm thinking, since it's a snowy day, it might be nice to... I know they've already been to the park recently, but I feel like you've got to go out and enjoy the snow, right? Ah, the good witch is calling again. Yes, she is available to talk. Okay, his fun's too low to keep trying with this, but maybe he can go do some painting. Well, I'm glad he'll do that on his own, because I think when you direct them, if they're in a bad mood, they just won't do it. What is it this good witch wants from Cat exactly? Because this is the second time he's phoned. Is he hoping to recruit her? I mean, I could see Cat potentially as some sort of Mary Poppins figure. That could be fun. Oh, they're just like me. All right, let's go out somewhere. We're going to ask Matthew on a date and we're going to bring the kids along. I feel like it's always so difficult getting to dates on time and not having the accidentally standing them up thing happen. So we're going to do our best to get everyone at the side of the road ready to go. The ice rink, which maybe has the most wintry vibes, although we did go there recently already. I think we'll head to the ice rink. And if you saw my last video, um, I don't think anyone actually did any ice skating at all. So this time we're going to get those kids on the ice. Alright, well, they all want to get to know... Matthew. He doesn't seem too impressed with all her talk of alien abductions. Oh, I'm so excited to see a sim actually skating. Oh, well, for a minute. Aww. Bungie running out, okay, dance, play, back rub, hug, flirt, let's do a flirt, I think that score's high, and tickle him and give him a back rub. <laughs> See, Cat is already wanting to make out, but he hasn't got any wants like that at the moment, so I guess we'll take it easy for now. Aww, look at them. Cute. 
Okay, well, Kat, despite Tinny, it's not the best singing, but she did just gain a point of charisma. And look how happy she looks. Oh, Maybe it is true love. But I think we're, gonna, we're running low on time for their little date, so we'll go in for the hug. And then maybe try and make out. It looks like they both want to. Oh, okay. We're going in for the romantic hug as well. I think we'll go in for the kiss. I'm sure it's not really a first kiss for either of them, but... With such beautiful music playing in the background. Thank you so much, piano guy. Beautiful. Um, no, make out isn't even an option. Poor Haru is fast asleep. Riku is also asleep. Okay, maybe it's time to head home with this in mind. But we could ask we could ask him back to our place. Since the kids are both a bit worn out from all the ice skating. Oh, he's leaving due to needing the toilet. That's fine. I feel like so many dates end this way for me. <laughs> Not for me, for my sims. Right, and it's the kid's birthday. We could actually celebrate that when they get home. Although they're... Mm, they are both quite tired, so maybe we'll do that when they get home from school tomorrow. Yeah. Time for you to go to bed, I think. Alright, let's try the nanny again. Oh. We'll just have to keep trying. Um. <laughs> right, in the meantime, we're just going to have to get everyone in bed. Is this Matthew coming around with a little date rose? Cute. That's very cute. Look, oh, what a sweetheart he is. You know, it, I hadn't really thought about it, but his his winter outfit is actually quite hackery, isn't it? It's similar to what she's wearing when she goes to work. So maybe they'll be a good match, you can say. Often I put these in the kitchen, but I sort of think it would be cute for it to go on her bedside. So we just pop it here and then we use the OMSPs. Good. Get it on the right power level. There. See, isn't that cute? And I do think we're going to end this episode here. Uh, next time we've got the twins birthday to look forward to and I know Morgan's got a birthday coming up as well so I think it'd be nice if they all like aged up during the same little mini round so yeah we'll be back to this family again soon I hope you enjoyed their little relaxing snow day I uh, look forward to seeing you again next time thanks so much for watching and bye for now